Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela. Happy Friday, peeps. <laughs> Happy Friday. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, whatever day it is around the world. Uh, but I am happy it's Friday. Um, I'm just ready for the weekend. So I hope you guys are having a great day thus far. I wanted to come very quickly and give you a word. Um, it's a word of encouragement, uh, a word that God has placed on my heart to uh, come and deliver to you guys. Uh, as always, should be a confirmation of what God has already um, already spoke to you about. Um, but again, it's more so encouragement. So take the word to God in prayer. Uh, every word, you know, is not for everybody. Every season is different for everybody. So I always tell everybody that because I want everybody to have their own relationship, you know, with God. And it should be confirmation of what he's already spoke to you about. But it's a word of encouragement of just the enemy, this is a season where a lot of things, you know, um, a lot of new levels, which comes with new devils, as I always say. But a lot of you, the God is saying you are, you are allowing the enemy to steal your joy, uh, to steal your joy, to sit, steal your peace, to steal your laughter. Even though this is your season uh, of promised land and he want you to rest in him and you know, calling for you just to rest, rest in him. This is your season, you know, that you are about to walk into the promised land. And a lot of you are allowing the enemy. Uh, God is saying a lot of you are allowing the enemy to steal your joy, to, to place doubt in your mind, um, to place uh, insecurities, to, uh, you know, keep you bound. Um, by your mistakes, but you have to release those things and let them go. Do not bring any of those old mindsets, old uh, habits, just, you know, old way of thinking or just your mistakes that you're having a hard time uh, letting go. And God is saying, this is the time, enjoy it, live your life. This is the time to live your life and, and you know, and have and enjoy life for what it is. Enjoy life, enjoy the journey, you know, enjoy this journey. And we will make mistakes on this journey. You know, that's what grace is for. We will make mistakes in this on this journey, but enjoy the journey, you know, enjoy the, the ups and the downs. And this is the, you know, God is saying it's just too many people that are allowing the enemy to think uh, playing mind games, you know, playing mind games with you to make you think, second guess yourself, second guess what God is telling you to do. He's making you try to second guess, you know, your next steps to second guess, you know, am I really out of Egypt? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're out of Egypt. It's time to celebrate. A lot of you have graduated. It's next level time. And you cannot allow the enemy to keep you in that mindset and keep you stuck and stagnant. Keep going, keep moving, uh, remain in, you know, in God's rest and continue to move forward. But, you know, you can't allow um, the enemy to keep you stagnant with fear, keep you stagnant with, you know, with, with doubt, insecurities, and just really second guessing yourself. So continue to move on and to move forward. Uh, one other thing that God uh, wanted me uh, to say, and this is not the first time I've said it. So it's, it's obviously, uh, something that is coming ahead for a lot of people. People are going to try to come back. This is a blessing season. This is a season of breakthroughs for many. Some people are going to try to come back, are going to try to re-enter, uh, into your life. Keep that door closed. Keep it shut. Keep it locked. <laughs> Put a boat on it, whatever you got to do. Do not open the door. Whatever doors God have closed and have asked you to remain, keep to keep those doors and remain closed, let them stay closed. Let them stay closed. God, the enemy is going to send people back. 
just to test you, uh, to see, you know, if they can come back, uh, to ride on the wave of the blessings. Keep the doors closed. Do not allow those relationships and things, uh, and, and the way that God put it in my spirit, uh, it's going to be people. People are going to try to come back into your life. Uh, you know, if God has been talking to you about keeping those doors closed, you know it, it, it should be confirmation. Keep those doors closed. Keep them closed. Uh, God is saying, just, do, you know, don't allow anybody to come back into your life to ride on, you know, the good things that he's about to, to do it. And, and, Keeping them closed doesn't mean to be nasty to the person, you know, but keep it shut, keep it shut. And guys, just enjoy this, this, enjoy this season. If this is your season of blessings and breakthrough, do not allow the enemy to plant your, you know, plant in your mind and your head that this is not your season or put you back into things that, you know, keep you bound by things that God delivered you from. Go and go in peace. Continue to move forward and to move forward in peace. I also uh, wanted to tell you, read, uh, I'm not going to read the, the verse, uh, verses of the scriptures, but go to uh, Psalms, 1, Psalms 103. Go to Psalms 103 and um, it will uplift you. You know, go to Psalms 103 and it would, uh, you know, it, it will, it's an uplifting scripture. So, when you have time, just go to that scripture and just remain in, in, in God's rest and, and enjoy life and enjoy the journey. Uh, life is a journey, you know, and let's just enjoy it. Enjoy it. Life is short. Um, it's a, you know, life is short. And so we need to enjoy the journey and enjoy the ups and the downs. And it's not always easy, but we always know that we have Jesus Christ. Uh, there for us. And we have, you know, the Holy Spirit within us. So keep going, guys. So that's the word today. I just wanted to come very quickly. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Uh, I have some things that I need to share that I've been praying on. I tried not to share it this week because I wanted to stay in God's face uh, and at his feet uh, to deliver it and make sure that I deliver it the right way. It's a lot of things that are coming in the future. So um, I will be back, you know, next week. And I just pray you guys have a great weekend. As always, continue to be the light, continue to shine, continue to love on each other and continue to be kind. And I will see you guys next time. God willing, know that God loves you so much. And so do I. See you next time. Bye.